Samsung Sport. We have uh, Alexander Jiku from Fenerbahce Istanbul. We have Abdul, Abdul Mumin from Rayo Balkano. We have Mohamed Salisu from AS Monaco. We have Jerome Poku from Istanbul Basakshir. We have Ali Duseydu from Stadran. Uh, we have Gideon Menza from Ajay Oxer. We have uh, Isaac Afur from FC Samatex. We have in the midfield uh, Thomas Tate, FC Arsenal, Ibrahim Sulemana, Atalanta Bergamo, Maji. Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we'll be very brief. Um, we all know that we have very um, important assignments ahead of us. Two important games against Sudan. We have just been notified by CAF that the dates have changed. So I'll start by giving you that information. The Confederation of African Football have uh, changed the dates for our matches. The first game, which was scheduled for the Accra Sports Stadium on Friday, October 11, will now take place on Thursday, October 10th. And then the reverse fixture in Benina in Libya, which was originally scheduled for Monday, October 11, um, will now take place on Tuesday, sorry, Monday, October 14, will now take place on Tuesday, October 15. Um, so those are the new dates for the two matches. Um, kindly take note. Those of you who want to take pictures, three minutes, please take your pictures, and then we'll start. Uh, to hand over to the coach for him to announce the squad. After that, we'll take your questions. Like I said earlier, we'll be very, very brief today. Thank you, coach. Hello, good uh, afternoon, everybody. Um, yeah, as uh, Henry just said, um, I would just like to announce the squad, and um, afterwards we'll be ready to take in questions from your side. Maybe in advance, um, just for you to know, because uh, it's, I've been doing this for the last two times, um, but today I won't ask or answer any question about players who are not on the squad. Okay, because it will take too much time and there are so many other good questions and we shouldn't waste our time on this. It's just about the players who are there and, um, and that's it. Okay, so I won't be answering questions about players who are not in the squad. I'll just answer, if you have a question about players who are in the squad, I'll answer them or anything else. But I won't talk too much about players who are not in the squad. Okay, because they're like, 400 possible players who also could be in the national team, but they're not as good. Okay. So we will start with announcements. Um, um, goalkeepers, we have Lawrence Atizigi from Zagal. We have Joseph Bolcott from Colonel Town. We have Frederick Asari from Asante Kotoko. Um, defenders, we have Tariq Lamte from Brighton, Howard Abian. And we have Kingsley Sinchenda from Samsung Sport. We have uh, Alexander Jiku from Fenerbahce Istanbul. We have Abdul, Abdul Mumin from Rayo Balkano. We have Mohamed Salisu from AS Monaco. We have Jerome Poku from Istanbul Basakshir. We have Ali Duseydu from Stadran. Uh, we have Gideon Menza from Ajay Oxer. We have uh, Isaac Afur from FC Samatex. We have in the midfield uh, Thomas Tate, FC Arsenal, Ibrahim Sulemana, Atalanta Bergamo, Majid Ashinero from um, Anderlecht, uh, we have Elisha Musu from Ajaxer, we have Mo Mohamed Kudus from Western United. The forwards are Ibrahim Osman from Pernod of Rotterdam, Ennis Nuoma from Olympic Lyon, um, Ishaku Abdul Patao from Leicester City, and Juan Semino from um, AFC Bournemouth. Um, Jordan Ayu from Leicester City, Joseph Pencil from LA Galaxy, Brendan Thomas Asante from Coventry City, and Inaki William from Athletic Club. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, um, Coach. So, 25 players have been named. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for your questions. You raise your hand, um, you tell us your name, your media house, and your question. 
elevates every, every player up, 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 up. And this is what I'm looking for. This is what we need to change, and this is what we need to bring into the to the dressing room. And it's very important that uh, that after the game we stick to our tradition. You know, we have respect for elder people, we have respect for senior players, and so on. But on the pitch, I want everyone to to be demanding, to to shout, to criticize, to show. Um, positive energy to criticize in a positive way, but also to social solutions, and then also to demand a certain attitude from each and every player. And this is what was missing in the last game, and this is what we're looking for, even at the training. You know, and this is what we need to change. If somebody loses in training, I don't want to see him happy. To be honest, I want him to 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 look for solution, to to talk to his teammate what they could have done better. And there we need to take many steps ahead, and the result will be that we won't concede as many goals as we did. These two players, Jackie Williams and Antoine Simmons, uh, they've had fantastic starts to the season, but mostly they've been playing as wingers. And in the Black Star Center, they are mostly used as center forwards. Uh, how are you looking to get the best out of both of them without changing too much from what they are used to in club level? Position players there at the club level and then also in the international level with the national team is always a challenge. Um, as you just said, if you just let's say mention those two players, uh, maybe we take Jordan also in addition. Um, you know, it's not about the player; it's about the team. You know, and we have to to, to see what what's best for the team. And um, if let's say both or all of them were playing as wingers, we still need maybe somebody who plays in the line position. So. Whatever I do, I'll do something maybe that uh, is not equivalent to the, to the to the position in the team. But for me, um, I think the most important is the team, the most important thing. And I have to, and we as as a staff, as a coaching staff, have to think about the best possible solution and um, where we can think each and each of our players can harm our opponent as as much as possible. And this is what we're looking for. My my question is about some few weeks ago. We all saw SPS being interviewed by the Select Committee members from the Parliament. And I listened to Stephen Apier's conversation with the parliamentarians. One thing, two things that he said that is important to me, I want to know. He emphasized on some time ago, during their time in 2006, we had local players being called to the national team to the extent of even benching some of the senior players. He even mentioned of the lives of uh, Shila Iliasu, the lives of Habib Muhammad, that they came to the squad and bench even those times, uh, let me classify it as the big players, those that were playing at abroad. But this time around, it's, it's not happening so. So I want to know, is it true? If it's, it is true, then what is the essence of calling the local players? If now the quality are low, that is why when you call them to the national team, you don't give them the opportunity to play. Or two, is it because the league is not up to the standard? So you think that when you give them the opportunity, maybe the tactics that you play, it will not lead, it will not bring success to your uh, uh, your tactics. And thirdly, I want to know if it's true. Then what is the essence of calling the local players? Why don't you leave them for them to continue for their clubs? You know, every coach has a different playing style. I, I don't think we can compare 2006 to, uh, to this year, 2024. It's a different year, different players, and and I'm looking for players who can fit to the way I want to play. So for me, I said it before, it doesn't matter if you're a local player or a non-local player, and you know, this dividing of the players, for me, I don't think it's fair. So, Let's say, I don't know, uh, you say Abid Muhammad, after the World Cup, he will be called by an Italian club. Then he's, the next day, the, first, the day before he was a local player, and now he's not a local player anymore. That time he no? was called, he was playing for the local team. Yes, but if he would have been called for Italy, the next day, after the World Cup, he's no more a local player. So maybe no, you should call him. He played as a local player before. I know, I know. So for me, the, 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 the vision of local player, not local player, I don't get it. No, let's say Kudos is coming from Lima. And he grew up, this is where he learned to play football. So he, now he's 
paying for our first time, so no more local pay. For me, I don't get it. You know, it's, it's for me, it's not like where you pay, it's how you pay. How you pay, which is the, this is the most important thing for me. And it's not, it's not about where you pay. And um, if a uh, pair uh, catches my attention, then I'll call him. Doesn't, doesn't, I don't care if he's a local pair or not. And there are so many things which I have to take in consideration. And um, the way he trains, the way he play, the way also the other players played and played before. And then I will, at the end, I would have to work last word. But we as a coaching team, we are looking for good players, no matter where. If they are in the local league, if they play in Europe, if they play in Asia, in America, whatever. We don't care about it. You know? And we're looking just at players which fit into the way we want to play. And um, this is the most important thing for us, that we, we find those players. And um, surely we can always say, um, look about one game. Like, and, and, but we all can, we can also say, okay, we had, we played against Mali, we played against Central African Republic, we won. I think the first half against Central Africa and Public Dollars was not good. But the second half was very, very good and we took, showed a very good attitude to come back from um, from being behind. And Mali was very good and so for me it's, it's about it's about the good players and not about local player, non-local player. You know, this this topic to be honest I don't get it, you know and if somebody shines, we will be called. Please coach, this is what I said. The public opinion of the fans to you. Um, in your first two games in the World Cup qualifiers, marvelous performance, um, two wins from two games. However, in the Africa, in the recent qualifiers, you were winless, and the performance of our key players have been questioned. They've gone on to their clubs and they have been awesome in their performances. Kudus, Nyaki, and Nya, Nya, Semenu have been brilliant, um, but their performance, especially in Niger, was sort of spiritless. Now that you are coming back, and for the first time in about two decades, we lost in Fumansi, which the fans are not happy about. But I think we need to begin to let you know. So what do you, you plan on doing differently, such that you bring back the love in quotes, and then you, you, you bring back confidence? Because as I was coming here, people were unhappy with the team. They, they sort of, you know, everyone to watch the matches. So what do you plan on doing differently to restore confidence in the performance? Um, yeah, I have before. Um, I... To be honest, I faced a lot of negativity before my first appearance here. Um, when I came, we played against Nigeria, we qualified. Um, then also when I came back, a lot of negativity. Um, difficult situation, we played against Mali and uh, we won and it was okay. And now again, surely a difficult situation and very, very understandable. I, to be honest, I, I hate to lose. I hate to lose and I was also pissed. I was very, very disappointed, especially after the Niger game. And the Angola game, I think we have to see it separately. We can't put it, even though we lost, and results is what counts in this sports. I think surely it should be seen a little bit separately, but it's because this is football. Um, I played in, in, in Germany in the first division. We lost to a fourth division in the cup game. Sometimes this happens, you have chances, uh, you don't score, and they have maybe one or two chances, they score. So I want to exclude this match, but Niger was really, really bad and disappointing. And like I said before, for us, it's about to bring the certain spirit which you talked about to this team. And it has to be there always, not only when we play against Nigeria, or when we play against Mali or whoever. It has to be there against every team. And there, again, I'm talking about defensive discipline. To be to be ready to run an extra mile, to be ready to stop our opponents from creating chances. Sometimes, and this is also part of football, we have to power. You know, maybe you get a yellow card. I want to see this passion. You know, I want to see aggressiveness. And, and this is the basis which we should have in every game. And if we have this, I, I think we will win a lot of games, but it's not there. This was missing the last game, and this is surely my responsibility. And I have to be um, to bring the, the, the players on their toes to bring this as a basic thing into the training 
but also on the pitch. We know that they can play football, you know, it's a combination of passion and, and willingness to, 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 to win, but also of the tactical uh, transformation on the pitch. And um, at the end, it's the players who decide if we win or not. And it's on me to bring in these players who will show this commitment on the pitch. And it's also on, 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 on the players to, to fight for their sport on the pitch. And um, we will see in the training what we will we do. I'm not 100% sure yet what we will do. If there will be changes, many changes or not. But and I want to see the hunger on the pitch. And for me, I had a lot of talks, to be honest. I went uh, also around to visit some players to talk to them directly because I was very, very unhappy about the, um, a lot of players and um, the way they performed. And so we had very, very good talks. But now it's time for action. You know, we, everybody can talk. We can talk good and everybody can say, I want to give 100%. But for me, talk is very, very cheap. You know, it's, it's, it's easy to talk, but we have to see it on the pitch. And if it happens, like in Angola, it's, this is also part of football. To, to be honest, you know, sometimes you, it's like that, you try to score, the goal the goes, doesn't go in, it happens to every team. The probability that it will happen again, if you put in such an effort, is very, very low. But um, I'm very, very sure that we have a high probability if we bring in these basics, passion, this spirit um, to, to, to defend especially, and but also to, to, to be determined to, to, to win and to score. And, Combine it with the technical um, collectiveness and to, to deliver on the pitch, then we can really, oh, I'm very, very sure that we will win the game. Good afternoon, coach. I'm here. Why you have still maintained the strikers on the points that you have uh, aimed? Uh, because it looks like of late we struggle to get the goals. And the essence of uh, a very good striker is to get us goals. I want to know why you maintain them, if they are the best you have in this country, or uh, we don't have enough quality. Apart from that, I have seen uh, one young player, you would not want to answer that question, but if I'm on my radio, and one uh, Ghanaian asked me, why didn't you as a coach that uh, my husband who plays for Ellsberg in Sweden is performing so well? But I've not got a call up to the masters. Coach, what should be my answer? Thank you. <laughs> On the strikers, I know that everybody is looking for goals, especially from the strikers. And um, I'm also looking for goals. <laughs> um, so we discussed a lot, and we always discuss a lot about uh, um, players which should be called, and uh, we have to strongly believe that those are the best strikers we have in this country, and that's why we call them. Um, the second question, I said it before, it's, it's always difficult, I can understand, and we, he's on our radar, we are in touch, um, but, and, and I think, okay, I said I wouldn't answer, but I answered for you. <laughs> um, it's an excellent striker. Excellent striker, Michael Redu is an excellent striker, and uh, we'll see what will happen in the future. Like I said, at the moment, this is what we think. Um, you know, uh, Inaki is scoring, Akubao, Semino is scoring, Burma, so to be honest, I think the Premier League is a little bit tougher than the Swedish League. This is the reason, like, why they're involved at the moment. But we'll see what will happen in the future. He's a very good striker. Looking forward to, to get to know him personally. Colleagues, uh, the last two questions. We have so many, and I think it's a, it's a serious problem, a very serious problem, but we have to do and focus on our jobs. You know, there are a lot of things which are, have also distracted, maybe myself also. You know, I'm questioning myself, or I was questioning myself, okay, what could I have done better? If, I, let's say, I have an accident, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, but you know, there are other things and also other distractions among to the team. And uh, for us, to be honest, it's about focusing on Sudan and nothing else. After we win, then we can talk about every other topic. Okay? Thank you.